Here we want to graph f of x equals e to the x. And first, recall that for any base b, let's just graph a generic b to the x. And this is a for b greater than 1. We're just looking at exponential growth here. And you really only need two points. Right here, it goes through 0, 1, and this will hold for any base b greater than 1. So 5 to the x, 10 to the x, 3 to the x, e to the x. It goes through 0, 1. That's, the, that's really the anchor point. And then by the time we get over to 1 on the x-axis, we are up to b on the y-axis. And it makes this nice exponential curve that we recognize. Okay, so what's this about e to the x? Remember that e is just a number, right? And it happens to be about 2.7. Okay, it's, it, it, it's an irrational number. If we tried to write it, we'd be here for eternity because it never stops just going in digits. It, it never uh, repeats itself and, or goes into a, a, um, a repetition where we could stop and, and say, oh, this, is, this part just repeats forever and ever. It just keeps going and going and going. So we'll just write 2.7, all right? So here, graphing e to the x, we go through the anchor point, 0, 1. And then by the time we go get over to 1 on the x-axis, we are up to 2.7 or so on the y-axis. So here's e right there. All right, and then it hugs along the x-axis. It does not touch it, but it becomes asymptotically close. And then it blows up here, and off it goes to infinity. So e to the x looks like any other exponential. Um, it just goes to the point 1 comma e, which is about 1 comma 2.7. Okay, now let's look at shifting this thing and reflecting it. Here we have f of x equals negative e to the x plus 2 minus 1. And if you remember what you know about translations or shifting and reflections, this negative out in front is going to reflect. Okay, that reflects about the x-axis. That holds for any negative in front of a function um, when we go to graph it. If it's just a negative out in the front, that's going to reflect it down across the x-axis. Okay, a plus 2 in the exponent well, that's a horizontal shift, and it goes the opposite direction of the sign. All horizontal shifts do. So this is going to be 2 to the left for that one. And then this one out here is the vertical shift. Those go in the same direction as the sign. So this is going to be 1 down. Okay, so let's see. So let's do it. Let's first start with... Um, just graphing e to the x. Remember, e is about 2.7, so I'm going to do the anchor point here, and by the time we get over to 1 on the x, we're at about 2.7 on the y. Okay, this is the base graph that we start with. Right? Do not just plug in points. Don't just plot points to try to get at this graph from scratch. A, it, it's not very elegant, and that's not the purpose of the exercise. B, um, it almost never works. Um, so definitely you want to do it using the translations and the reflections here. Okay, so we're going to take this green graph, we're going to shift it about the x-axis, or I'm uh, sorry, reflect it about the x-axis. So let's do that. I'm going to reflect it down, so that brings this point down to 0, negative 1, and then our 1e becomes 1, negative e. Again, that's about 2.7, so now I'm working with this plot here. All right. There we go. Okay, and that's my new plot, so I'm just going to erase the old one. So what we have now is negative e to the x. Okay, and now I'm going to take this thing here and shift it 2 to the left and 1 down. So I'm just going to do this in black here, and I'm going to take this point, this anchor point, 2 to the left and 1 down. Here's our e, or negative e in this case. 2 to the left, and 1 down. Puts it about right here. And then also do this with the asymptote. right? This asymptotically approaches the x-axis. So we can shift that asymptote, so to speak. 2 to the left, well, that doesn't do anything. But 1 down does do something. 
And this is really helpful to shift this asymptote when you go to create these new exponential graphs. All right. So now we can connect the dots through. It asymptotically approaches that. And then it goes into the exponential behavior and just blows up like so and keeps going and going and going, something like that. All right, so there we have it. Negative e to the x plus 2, we shifted it 2 to the left, minus 1, shifted it 1 down.